From Marilyn Monroe to Kim Kardashian, the beauty industry has always been obsessed with celebrity. In this video, I'm going to explore the evolution of celebrity beauty brands and how they've changed over time. Hello lovelies, my name is Laura and in this video I'm going to explore the fascinating history of celebrity beauty brands. We are going to take a look at how they've evolved over time and what makes them so successful. So sit back and relax while we take a trip down memory lane. So thank you, U7, for sponsoring this video. U7 originated from Love U7 Days a Week, believing that everyone deserves love and to be loved, and jewelry is the best gift for love. This is why U7 started a jewelry brand and has devoted themselves to providing exquisite and affordable jewelry for customers all around the world. Almost every piece of U7 jewelry can be customized with special words and U7 believes that quality is super important. All their products are really well made along with quality environmental friendly materials complying with European USA standards and they are certified by SGS, the largest global testing and certification agency in the world. World. So I got a few pieces from them. The first one I got was a gold-plated zodiac necklace and I'm Cancer the Crab so I got this cute gold Cancer the Crab necklace. I think it's super cute. I love the look of it and I just it feels really high quality like the chain feels super sturdy. So it's a chic 18 karat gold plated 3D vivid cancer necklace. So you can choose any zodiac sign that you want. It's hyperallergenic and lead free so it won't irritate your skin or change color. And this is a perfect gift for yourself or a loved one. And I think it just looks really cute with certain outfits. It's like not too flashy but it's just really cute and subtle and I like the length of it as well. They also have fast and free shipping and everything comes in a delicate gift box and silk pouch is included. And the next item I got was a really cute 3D rose flower necklace. And this is a floral charm pendant choker. And I swear I had this necklace for my graduation in like 2002. So it's kind of nostalgic for me. And again, it has 18 karat gold. It also comes in rose gold and it's platinum plated for durable wear and hyperallergenic and nickel free. So it's perfect if you have sensitive skin. And the next item I got was classic romantic dozen red roses charm pendant necklace and it has classy dainty red rose flower charms with a dangling heart rose charm and it's trendy and chic to pair with a lot of different outfits you can dress it up or down and again it has a quality 18 karat gold finish and again, it's hyperallergenic and nickel free. And the earrings that I got are classic red rose flower cuff open hoop earrings. Again, they're 18 karat gold. Classic cute hot red rose flower open hoop earrings have like a retro stylish design and it's super romantic and delicate. I obviously love florals and these ones are really comfortable. They don't irritate my ears. I find certain earrings and necklaces to irritate my skin, but these are hypoallergenic and nickel free, which is super important to me because I can't wear a lot of things because of that reason and these ones are super comfortable and don't irritate my ears so I can wear them every day and not worry about that. So thank you you seven for sponsoring this post and make sure you check out my links below. I'll link all of the different jewelry. All right, let's jump back into the video. Hollywood has always had a special relationship with consumer products. In the early days of Hollywood, movie stars would often endorse products like toothpaste and cigarettes. This practice was so common that it even spawned a new term called product placement. Today, product placement is still a common marketing technique, but Hollywood celebrities are no longer the only ones lending their talents to advertisements. In fact, many big name celebrities have shied away from endorsing products, preferring to focus on more charitable causes. However, there are still a few Hollywood celebrities who are willing to put their faces on products in exchange for a hefty paycheck. And as long as there are consumers who are willing to buy products that have been endorsed by their favorite Hollywood celebrities, this practice is likely to continue. Joan Crawford was one of the most successful actresses of her generation, and her striking looks and on-screen charisma helped her to land a number of high-profile endorsement deals. In the early 1930s, she was the face of Lux Soap, and she also did ads for Florida Oranges, RC Cola, and Camel Cigarettes. However, Joan's most famous endorsement was for Pepsi Cola. Joan was a fierce advocate for the soft drink, 
And she even used her star power to help get Pepsi vending machines installed in movie theaters across the country. Thanks to Joan's efforts, Pepsi became one of the most popular soft drinks in America. Joan's endorsement deals not only made her a household name, but they also helped her to become one of the richest women in Hollywood. As time went on, celebrities began to endorse beauty products specifically. Old Hollywood was a golden age of glamour, and the celebrities of that era were true style icons. These days, we're used to seeing celebrities endorsing all sorts of products, from fashion brands to skincare lines. But it wasn't always that way. In fact, the first old Hollywood celebrities began to endorse beauty products specifically. It was a watershed moment for the beauty industry and it changed the way we think about celebrity endorsements forever. Before that, celebrity endorsements were few and far between, but after old Hollywood stars like Jean Harlow, and Mae West started appearing in ads for cosmetics, perfumes, and other beauty products, it became clear that celebrity endorsements could be a powerful marketing tool. Today, we see celebrities endorsing everything from shampoo to makeup, and their endorsements can make or break a product success. Thanks to those old Hollywood stars, we now live in a world where celebrities are often considered the ultimate experts on beauty. Marilyn Monroe was the undisputed queen of Hollywood in the 1950s. She was glamorous, talented, and adored by fans all over the world. Monroe was also the face of several major beauty brands, including Lux Soap and Westmore. In an era when movie stars were the ultimate brand ambassadors, Monroe helped to sell millions of products and solidified her status as a style icon. Her influence can still be seen today in the way that many celebrities are used to promote beauty products. Thanks to Marilyn Monroe, looking like a Hollywood star is now within the reach for everyday women. There was a time not so long ago when Hollywood glamour reigned supreme. The golden age of cinema was defined by old Hollywood glamour, and for many years it seemed like that would never change. But then, in the 1950s and 1960s, something happened. A new generation of actors and actresses began to rise to prominence, and with them came a new brand of Hollywood glamour. No longer content to simply look good on camera, these stars wanted to be larger than life. They wanted to be unforgettable, and they succeeded. From Marilyn Monroe to Elizabeth Taylor to Audrey Hepburn, the 1950s and 1960s saw the rise of some of the most glamorous figures in Hollywood history. Thanks to their charisma and magnetism, they helped to cement Hollywood's reputation as the home of glitz and glamour. Marilyn Monroe was one of the most important stars of her generation. She brought a new kind of glamour to Hollywood, and her style was imitated by women all over the world. Monroe was born in 1926 in Los Angeles, and she rose to fame in the 1950s with starring roles in films like Gentlemen Prefer Blondes and The Seven Year Itch. Monroe's career was marked by her sexuality and her ability to project a sensual image on screen. She was known for her off-screen antics, which were often chronicled in the tabloids. Marilyn Monroe died of an overdose in 1962, but her legend has only grown in the years since her death. She continues to be one of the most iconic figures in American pop culture. Marilyn Monroe is an icon. She's synonymous with Hollywood glamour and elegance. Monroe famously said in an interview in 1952 that she wore five drops of Chanel No. 5 and nothing else to bed. I don't want to say nude, she said, but it's the truth. The world took notice. Here was a woman who epitomized all that was glamorous and sophisticated, declaring her love for a simple bottle of perfume. Marilyn's endorsement helped to launch Chanel No. 5 into the stratosphere, making it one of the most iconic and best-selling perfumes of all time. Thanks to Marilyn, Chanel No. 5 will always be associated with glamour, sophistication, and style. 
In the 1950s and 1960s, Audrey Hepburn became the face of several high-profile beauty campaigns, including those of her Lux Soap and Givenchy. However, some have questioned whether her endorsement of these products was in line with her personal beliefs. Audrey Hepburn was a committed humanitarian, and she used her platform to speak out against poverty and injustice. Some have argued that by appearing in advertisements for luxury brands, she was participating in a system that exploited workers and perpetuated inequality. Others have countered that Hepburn herself was never materialistic, and that she only endorsed products that she genuinely believed in. The debate continues to this day, but there's no doubt that Audrey Hepburn's legacy as a style icon and humanitarian is firmly cemented. Audrey Hepburn was a style icon for a generation. She was known for her chic clothing, delicate features, and effortless elegance. So it was no surprise when she was chosen to be the face of Givenchy's new fragrance, the world sat up and took notice. La Herde, released in 1957, was designed to be a perfume for a modern woman like Audrey Hepburn. It was light and fresh with notes of jasmine and tuberose. The ads for the fragrance would be bold and stylish, featuring Audrey Hepburn in a sleek gown and gloves with the tagline forbidden to all but Audrey. The forbidden aspect of the perfume only added to its allure, making it one of the most popular fragrances of the decade. Today, this perfume is still remembered as one of Audrey Hepburn's signature scents, and its timeless appeal continues to captivate new generations of perfume lovers. I actually love this perfume. I'm so upset because I had a bottle of it and I broke it and it fell over. So I really need to get a new one because I'm obsessed. I feel like it really works well with my like pheromones. Audrey Hepburn was the face of Givenchy's perfume fragrance in the 1960s. And this perfume was actually created specifically for her. And she wore it in several films, including Breakfast at Tiffany's. In 1988, she became the face of Revlon's beauty campaign and she helped to redefine what it meant to be a glamorous woman. This campaign was photographed by photographer Richard Avedon and she wore Revlon's pink in the afternoon. In an era where women were expected to conform to strict standards of beauty, Audrey Hepburn showed the world that you could be beautiful, and stylish without sacrificing your own unique sense of self. She was a trendsetter who inspired other women to embrace their own natural beauty, and her impact is still felt today. Thanks to Audrey Hepburn, we know that true beauty doesn't come from conforming to someone else's idea of perfection. It comes from being confident and comfortable in your own skin. And next we have Sophia Loren's perfume endorsement. And Sophia Loren is one of the most iconic Italian actresses of all time. She's known for her beauty, her talent, and her passion for life. Sophia is also known for her exquisite taste in perfume. Sophia talks about her love for her Sophia perfume with Cody. Sophia describes the scent as sexy and sensual, and she said that it makes her feel confident and beautiful. And in many vintage advertisements, she also talks about the bottle's design, which is inspired by her own Venetian glass jewelry. And Sophia is a Cody fragrance inspired by the famous Sophia Loren, an icon of style, femininity, grace, and elegance. This perfume was launched in 1981 as an oriental floral with dominant notes of jasmine and rose. And this is another example of an old Hollywood movie star using their fame to endorse a product. And you can't buy this perfume anymore, but I did buy a vintage one on eBay. Next, we have Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor was an Hollywood icon who was known for her dramatic films and her beauty. She was also one of the first celebrities to create her own perfume line. Elizabeth Taylor was born in London in 1932, and she moved to Hollywood in 1939. She quickly became one of the most popular actresses in the world, 
thanks to her performances in the films like National Velvet and Giant. Elizabeth Taylor was also known for her beauty and she became one of the first celebrities to endorse modern cosmetics. In 1987, she signed a contract with Elizabeth Arden to launch her first perfume, Passion. This perfume, as well as white diamonds, helped Elizabeth Taylor build a fragrance empire and one of the most successful brands in fragrance history. Elizabeth Taylor's perfume empire also helped to boost the sales of Elizabeth Arden's products because she also endorsed many of their products, including their lipsticks and the famous eight hour cream. Elizabeth Taylor continued to endorse various cosmetics throughout her career, helping to make them more mainstream. Her endorsement of Elizabeth Arden's 8-hour cream is widely considered to be one of the most important moments in the history of modern cosmetics. Elizabeth Taylor was one of the most glamorous and iconic actresses of her generation. She was also known for her love of perfume, and in 1991, she launched her second fragrance, Elizabeth Taylor White Diamonds. This scent was an instant success, and it remains one of the best-selling perfumes of all time. Thanks to its popularity, Elizabeth Taylor was able to establish her own perfume empire, which included several other subsequent fragrances such as Gardenia, Violet Eyes, and Black Pearls, to name a few. Elizabeth Taylor's passion for perfume was evident in everything she did, and her legacy continues to live on through her iconic fragrances. And Elizabeth Taylor actually did wear her own perfumes because I even saw photos of her vanity and all of her perfumes were on there. And apparently she made more money from her fragrances than all of her movies combined. In the 2000s, celebrity perfumes were all the rage. Everyone from Jennifer Lopez to Britney Spears was releasing their own signature scent and fans couldn't get enough. These perfumes were often heavily promoted through TV commercials and print ads, and many celebrities even made appearances at department stores to promote their products. The 2000s were truly the golden age of celebrity perfume. However, not all of these fragrances were successful. In fact, many of them were quickly forgotten about, only to be rediscovered years later by nostalgic fans. But for a brief moment in time, the celebrity perfume craze was one of the most exciting things in popular culture. I actually remember when the JLo one came out. I think I got it for my birthday in the year 2002 when it was released. No one can deny the power of a celebrity endorsement. When a celebrity lends their name to a product, it can instantly become a bestseller. This was especially true in the 2000s when many celebrities launched their lines of perfume. Suddenly, everyone wanted to smell like their favorite star. Britney Spears' perfume Curious sold over 1 million units in the first week, while Jennifer Lopez's Glow was with a best-selling perfume in 2002. Even Taylor Swift got in on the action, releasing her first fragrance, Wonderstruck, in 2011. The celebrity perfume craze may have died down in recent years, but for a time, it was impossible to escape the sultry ads and glossy bottles. I think it was also because back then we didn't have as much social media, so this was a way for people to connect with their favorite movie stars. Britney Spears and Paris Hilton were the first successful stars in the space. Since launching Curious back in 2004, Britney has sold more than 500 million bottles of perfume, while altogether racking up 30 million annually from fragrance sales alone, which is insane. Similarly, Woman's Wear Daily reported that despite appeal, Hilton managed impressive numbers too, having so far been able to sell over $2 billion worth of perfume since the debut of her perfume. There's no shortage of celebrity beauty brands these days, from Kylie Jenner's lip kits to Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop skincare line. It seems like every celebrity is getting in on the action. And why not? Beauty is a multi-billion dollar industry and celebrities have a built-in audience of loyal fans on their social media. But not all celebrity beauty brands are created equal. Some are clearly just cash grabs, while others are genuinely innovative and well-made products. So which ones are worth your hard-earned money? Here are a list of some of the beauty brands out there. 
So the first one is Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie Jenner's lip kits are some of the most popular products in the celebrity beauty world. I feel like she kind of in many ways did start the celebrity beauty brands. The quality is hit or miss. There's so many knockoffs too. Some people love them while others find them drying out and difficult to apply. But one thing's for sure, they're definitely not cheap. And next we have Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop skincare line. And Goop is full of high-end products with equally high price tags. But unlike some other celebrity beauty brands, Goop actually delivers on its promises. I've never actually tried Goop personally, but I mean, she still seems to be very successful. The beauty industry has become more diverse over the years with many famous people in it. Victoria Beckham is one of them. She started her own company called Victoria Beckham Beauty. Others include Selena Gomez and Harry Styles, who both have their own cosmetic lines as well. There's also Cora Organics from early adopter Miranda Kerr, along with Jessica Alba's Honest Beauty line that was created after being frustrated by the bad quality of skincare products at Sephora stores. More recently, we have seen new faces like Rihanna launching a Fenty Beauty, which has set an international standard for diversity on Instagram while Kylie Jenner became a billionaire thanks to her successful makeup brand, Kylie Cosmetics. But I feel like that billionaire thing has been debunked. In the last year, many celebrities have been entering this industry with their own brands. More than 20 new entries were seen in June of 2022 alone. We've already had visits from Gwen Stefani and Courtney Cox, and who will be next? Scarlett Johansson, the actress who has become well known for her beauty brand, announced that this March that she would be launching a skincare line. Unlike other celebrity brands focused on selling products through their famous name recognition, Scarlett Johansson decided to go with the name The Outset, and she wants to focus more heavily upon the products and what they actually do. And she wanted to provide skincare solutions tailored specifically towards each individual's needs by taking into account factors such as acne, wrinkles, while also maintaining an anti-age approach where appropriate. In a recent move, several celebrities have announced they're returning to their roots by launching new makeup lines. Singer and songwriter Lady Gaga made her return with an updated packaging style for her brand, while Grammy Award winner Alicia Keys launched Keys Soul Care in 2020, which focuses on providing skincare solutions targeted at black women's needs just like she did during the early days of being signed under Columbia Records. In recent years, an increasing number of celebrities have decided to launch their own beauty brands. Whether it's Kylie Jenner's highly successful lip kits or Rihanna's groundbreaking Fenty Beauty line, these celebrity-backed brands have been taking the beauty world by storm. But why are so many celebrities turning to the beauty industry? For one thing, a celebrity beauty brands have a built-in audience, people are already interested in their lives of celebrities, and they're often willing to try out products that their favorite stars endorse. In addition, celebrity beauty brands benefit from a celebrity's personal brand. A celebrity's name can help to attract attention and build trust with potential customers. Finally, celebrity beauty brands often have access to greater resources than smaller companies. With a celebrity's backing, a beauty brand can more easily get funding, secure partnerships, and gain media attention. All of these factors combine to make celebrity beauty brands a powerful force in the industry. And as more and more celebrities enter the world of beauty, it's likely that this trend will continue to grow. I think a lot of actresses too, like as they get older, want like another source. So they're like capitalizing on their fame to get more money um, this way and kind of have an exit plan from acting. The beauty industry is not only thriving, it's worth $532 billion. Retail analytics firm edited report that the market for skincare products alone accounts for more than half this revenue. Yes, indeed, with high margins like these in place, brands such as Chanel and Gucci still maintain a healthy bottom line even while experiencing growth across areas, thanks largely to their diverse customer base who are always looking outwards at what may be next on trend. 
So even like other like old school legacy brands are branching out too into beauty. Kim Kardashian is one of the most famous women in the world, unfortunately, and she is no stranger to controversy. Her latest venture, a skincare line called Skin by Kim, has come under fire for a number of reasons. First of all, some people take issue with the fact that she is selling a skincare line when she is not a licensed esthetician. Secondly, there are concerns that the safety of some of her ingredients in the products. Finally, critics say that the products are too high priced and that Kim is taking advantage of her fans. Whether you love or hate Kim Kardashian, there's no denying that she knows how to make headlines. In this case, however, we can't help but think that she may have bitten off more than she can chew. Kim Kardashian is no stranger to lawsuits, but her latest legal battle has caught attention even from her fans. The reality star and a beauty mogul is facing a lawsuit for her new skincare line, Skin by Kim. The lawsuit filed by fellow beauty entrepreneur Cindy Lunsford alleges that Kardashian's line infringes on Cindy's copyright and trademark of her own skincare line, Skin Plus. Cindy is seeking damages and an injunction against Kim Kardashian, claiming that the similarities between the two brands are confusing and misleading, while Kardashian has has not yet commented on the suit, it's clear that this is one battle that she'll be fighting for some time to come. The lawsuit filed on Tuesday and obtained by Entertainment Tonight revealed that esthetician Cindy Lunsford has owned the brand name Skin Plus since August 2018. The lawsuit claims that Cindy got in touch with Kim Kardashian and Cody, the cosmetics company working on her line, but according to this passage, they did not cease or desist from using their planned brands instead. It goes on to say how badly these companies conduct themselves by flagrantly ignoring others' intellectual property rights when it comes down right before your eyes. Kim Kardashian's lawyer, Michael Rhodes, denied the allegations made in the lawsuit, stating, this lawsuit is not what it seems. Skin by Kim is a new brand that follows in the footsteps of Miss Kardashian's successful KKW line of products. Building on independent research and development, her company filed a trademark application for Skin by Kim to protect the new branded products. Rhodes claims that the lawsuit is a shakedown effort by Beauty Concepts and states, we applaud Ms. Lunsford for being a small business owner and following her dreams, but that doesn't give her the right to wrongfully claim that we've done something wrong. In its letter, Beauty Concepts claims to own the right to a logo made up of Skin Plus and just filed for trademark protection for that logo. The business was a one-person shop offering facials from a single Brooklyn location. The salon had no signage and was by appointment only. To our knowledge, Beauty Concepts sold no products under the Skin Plus name, Kim Kardashian's lawyer claims. Beauty Concepts asked that Kim Kardashian drop the skin name. Of course, we said no. Beauty Concepts then challenged Ms. Kardashian's trademark applications at the USPTO. Unsurprisingly, the USPTO rejected Beauty Concepts' own Skin Plus mark, saying that skin just means skin. Beauty Concepts is demanding that the suit go to trial by jury and is asking the court to award them damages, including but not limited to compensation damages as well as statutory damages, restitution, disgorgement of profits, enhanced damages, punitive damages, and pre-judgment and post-judgment interest. Additionally, the lawsuit is asking Kardashian and Cody to pay for and implement a campaign of corrective advertisement and to disgorge its ill-gotten gains and to withdraw all USPTO trademark applications featuring skin or skin by Kim. In the Kim Kardashian's lawyer's statement, he claims, we think the cease is less about a law of trademarks and more about trying to leverage a settlement by threatening to harm Kim Kardashian's name name and reputation. That's not going to work and we will look forward to presenting our case in court. 
Kim Kardashian has built an empire on her looks. However, some have argued that Kim's success is due to her willingness to exploit her body and she is setting a dangerous precedent for young women. Kim frequently posts risque photos on her social media and she has also released a line of lingerie and she also has released her book of selfies. Given her platform and her influence, many believe that Kim is sending a message that women must sell their sexuality to be successful. In a culture already blasted with images of perfection, Kim's message can be particularly damaging. It can lead young women to believe that they must surrender their privacy and their dignity in order to achieve success. And it could promote unrealistic standards of beauty. Kim Kardashian may be a trailblazer in the world of celebrity branding, but her influence comes at a cost. The evolution of celebrity beauty brands has been nothing short of dramatic. In the early 20th century, actresses like Mary Pickford was one of the first celebrities to launch their own beauty lines. These lines were often inspired by the glamorous looks of Hollywood stars and they quickly became popular among a woman who wanted to emulate that celebrity style. In the later half of the 20th century, celebrity beauty brands began to diversify. Some celebrities like Elizabeth Taylor started their own perfume lines, while others like Farrah Fawcett launched hair care products. By the end of the century, there was a celebrity beauty brand for almost every kind of product imaginable. And in the 21st century, celebrity beauty brands have only continued to grow in popularity. Thanks to social media, celebrities can now reach a global audience with their brand message. And with more and more celebrities getting into the beauty business, it seems like this trend will continue to go on for years to come. The evolution of celebrity beauty brands is a fascinating story. 20th century saw the rise of celebrities like Marilyn Monroe and Elizabeth Taylor, who became the faces of major beauty brands. In the 21st century, we've seen a new breed of celebrity beauty brands, one that's built on social media and influencer culture. These brands have taken celebrity endorsements to a whole new level with massive followings on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. The celebrity beauty brand is here to stay and we can't wait to see what the future holds. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out some of my other beauty videos. All right, see you again. Bye.